Hey you guys, welcome back. Finally, I'm getting around to the Kubi 322. I'm really happy to bring this to you today. Although, I do know uh, many, many people have already um, reviewed this knife. So, I'm going to get to it quickly and just let you know how I feel about it. Alright, let's get to it. Um, so, the 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 KU 322 is an excellent specimen of a budget knife. It's cheap. It has multiple forms of deployment. Uh, it comes in various color combinations. I chose this one because I really just love the Jade G10 along with a black hardware and black blade. And this black coating has actually held up very well. Um, I have destroyed tons of boxes over the past couple weeks and I just you can see that I've used it um, but the coating is not faded at all um, it's just it's dirty but you know hey it's okay I use it but uh, just so you know uh, the cutting edge is right around three and a half inches so it's there's a lot of real estate on this blade to use um the total edge uh, it's just i mean the total blade length is just under four inches i believe or maybe like three and three quarters of an inch but the actual cutting edge is three and a half ish but uh it's a really good sized knife it fills the hand nicely because it's nice and wide at the uh uh, the main part of the grip and it has a really nice cutout right here just one which is perfect there's no need to go anymore you know they they stopped right where the the perfect mark ends <laughs> uh it has a, a a little choil it has a great sh uh, plunge grind so you're going to get quite a few sharpenings out of this guy it has a really nice uh bit of jimping right here on the back on the thumb ramp uh, but it's honestly it, even if it didn't have any jimping there at all uh, it would still be perfect because of the way the ramp is shaped it it leans back on your thumb perfectly so it's it's just uh the way they shaped it the the blade shape it's just phenomenal uh like i can't use that word enough this year uh let's see it's got a deep carry pocket clip. It's a little on the like slender side, but I have I haven't had any problem getting it in and out of my pocket my pocket at all. Um, there's a lot of skeletonization on the inside because this is a large knife. So I mean we're talking a full size knife here. So it makes sense that they would want to skeletonize the stainless steel liners because this thing weighs like 4.8 ounces so I can only imagine how much it would weigh if they did not do the skeletonization it has the thumb hole or the hole and uh, the fuller for uh, finger flicking deployment which is nice it's very nice it, it has a great detent for that it also has a, uh, a flipper <laughs> flipper tab for deployment which I think personally the hole is it works better for deployment um, I believe this detent is tuned in way better for the finger hole deployment than it is for the uh, uh, the tab the flipper tab having a real bad problem I'm trying to think of the word flipper tab words uh, it's a really great drop point shaped blade um, the fuller not only with the hole uh, not only provides an, a, another way of opening but it also it, it pr provides a really nice aesthetic and um, I love I just love the way this looks uh, I, I like to mention cohesion when people make designs or, or when they design their knives if it's cohesive and it's easy on the eyes you just this thing is cohesive in in every aspect of the word uh, the liner lock 
it has a nice jimping on that so it's easy to access and easy to disengage the the uh, pocket clip is reversible so lefties are this it's all good for you guys too um let's see the pocket uh the handle uh, it's it's not a really fat handle. It's not very wide here. It's more of a slender handle It's not that skinny or anything, but uh, it makes it a nicer ride in the pocket because it is a very wide knife um, So when they cut down on the thickness in this way, I think that kind of helps that with um, carrying the knife so um, we're looking at about uh, an inch and a quarter somewhere around there this is just a very wide point uh, I'm not sure exactly let me just grab the old ruler here let's see how wide that is it's, oh, it's not that wide it's a little a little over an inch there at the widest point so that's not too wide um, let's see uh, this color combination, I don't know, it rocks. I love it. I love it a lot. There's this other one. I can't think of it. I think it's the 901, I want to say. It comes in red and black. I want to get that one, too. Um, I have this feeling that Kubi, uh, since Kubi has been really rocking it out, they're just destroying the market with, uh, with um, budget knives. They, they're just, they're... <laughs> A force to be reckoned with okay uh, I'm gonna do an end of the year competition with budget knives and Kubi will definitely have a couple in that um, for obvious reasons so uh, this year the, the models that I have are, are just these two but uh, just watching uh, vi uh, reviews and seeing what they have on the market and what they look like how they perform as far as what other people are saying I just think that they have, I don't know, I just, like I said, I, I, they're definitely a force. And when it comes to budget knives, these guys have really, really killed it. Uh, especially with their new models. Uh, I can tell you, I have an older model of the darkness that made me so unhappy that I just, I, I almost threw it away. I just got so angry that I ordered a newer model and blah, blah, blah. They sent me an old model to clear the shelves I guess I don't know but um, it wasn't Kubi that did it it was a private dealer seller I shouldn't say dealer because it's not a, a knife dealer at all because I don't think a knife dealer that we know of would do that so anyway I have the the 322 the 122 the only two that I have that they have made this year these two so far are gonna be in it at the end of the year um, and I'm not sure, I think I have two other Kubis coming. I'm not sure about that, but um, these will definitely be in it. Um, as, well, as well as uh, quite a few, or probably at least two or three uh, Kaisers. And then there's gonna be Concept in there. There's gonna be, eh, there's gonna be a lot of, a lot of players in the game, we'll say. So, uh, but, yeah, just the just for size comparison, since I have already done the uh, review on this one, I just wanted to show you guys uh, the difference. This thing is a monster, but it's not it's not ridiculous though. I mean, it's a full size knife, but it carries very well in the pocket. It's friendly to both users. It's it's got it's got the whole package for a budget knife, and this came ridiculously sharp. I could have. When I first got it, I could have shaved my legs easily. Um, this, without it <laughs> even needing a strop. I still haven't stropped it, and the thing is still really sharp. I don't think it's popping hair sharp, but it's still very sharp. Um, so I, there's not much that I can say that hasn't already been said. So um, I just wanted to kind of cut this short, you know, get right to the point and uh, just let you know that this is an amazing knife and I definitely wholeheartedly recommend this to any and everyone um, if you don't have your hands on one already you gotta find one it's a great knife this thing it not only looks good and feels good in your hand it feels good in the pocket and it, it is a really really fun knife to use so I 
just definitely suggest running out and getting you one if you can get it. But we're going on 10 minutes. I hope you guys made it to the end. And I will see you soon.